Let me set this up for you. As our little experiment, we're going to be shooting a 50 cal BMG with armor piercing bullets into Earth Code Mega Blocks. Here's our little prototype machine. You see the hydraulic cylinders there in the center of the picture, the hopper, the compression chamber, and this is our lifting device back here at the back. We took and put native dirt, just natural dirt that we dug up from right down here at this time, placed it directly into this machine, compressed it, made blocks carried them over and built us a little wall system. Now these have been out here about eight months. They consist of just dirt and water. There's no stabilizers, additives, or anything like that to this wall. They've been... Here's the ammunition we'll be shooting our blocks with today. 639 grain, 50 cal BMGs, armor piercing incendiary rounds, traveling at 2750 feet per second. And here's the rifle we'll be using, a Bushmaster 50 cal. And here we are loading the 50 cal rounds into the magazine. Again, armor piercing military spec ammo. This is an up close view of the block before we shoot it. Notice that it's weathered pretty bad. It's got a lot of surface cracking in it. Uh, it's in no means a block that uh, we would allowed to get in this kind of shape before we built a house with it. But we're not trying to build the best blocks before we shoot them. We actually want to build the poorest thing we can do. So we built these blocks out of very poor material, uh, did nothing to stabilize. So uh, if these things can stop armor piercing rounds, imagine what a good earth gold mega block could do. Mags loaded, armor piercing rounds are in. He's loading the first one. Thirty feet away. Thirty feet. Four shots, armor piercing into about a four inch circle. We did so little damage with the first four armor piercing rounds into the block that we've decided to shoot it four more times in virtually the same place, same little four inch diameter spot. already finding brass of course is the outside of the blocks and we of course did a pretty good job pulverizing this one little section here's another piece of brass there's an actual bullet that was only that bullet was less than four inches deep inside the wall and that's a tungsten steel armor piercing round. More brass. Of course, you can imagine eight rounds coming in. And, well, let's just see how big the whole hole is here. Uh, six inches across. And of course, that's shattered out. We, we put most of the rounds within about a four inch circle. Another round right there. Again, about seven inches of penetration. Again, seven inches of penetration. Deepest, deepest penetration of the wall. Let me get this back so I can get a decent measurement on it. Eleven inches. Eight rounds that we shot up into this hole, and even digging it back to the back. That's the deepest point 
even digging it out we're only 12 inches into this block there's still another uh six inches on the other side of that that uh 